catch some some ladyfish before we head out to our spots so we can toss some some chunks out for redfish maybe even snook usually they're all over here but right now we're struggling can't really find them all right guys i'm getting to ladyfish spot number two and the problem here is that I see is that the oyster bars that are usually here, I only, only see one popping out right now. Usually they're popping out a good amount where, to where I can see the, the little channels in between them. There's like five or six little oyster islands here. And um, right now I can't see them, so I have to be real careful. I don't ruin my foot pedals going over one. I'm gonna start casting here. I can get a feel for it with the with the lure. A feel for the bottom. See the oyster bar? I, I'm just not a hundred percent sure what kind of temperature um, ladyfish like. You know, water temperature and and the tide and stuff. I don't know much about their tendencies just know that usually when I come here it's like almost a guaranteed catching ladyfish it's just been my go-to spot for a while now let's check closer to that to that oyster bar there Even where that water changes right there, that's usually a good sign for ladyfish. Means the current's kind of ripping by there. I do know that. I do know that they do like current. There he goes. First. Yep. First one. So I just cut this nice keeper trout right there. I'm gonna show it to you right now, but I'm gonna keep throwing a line. They're kind of hitting. Half a voodoo is a shrimp. Half a voodoo shrimp is a trick. <clears throat> On a half a voodoo. Yeah. Did you, did you just smoke? You just smoked, didn't you? I smoked? Yeah. I went. <coughs> I choked on beef jerky. <laughs> I, I wish I smoked. <laughs> like a sea trout, bro. Snappers, yep. Nice snapper or no? Huh? Nice snapper or no? No. Oh, man. 
A sheepy! Sheephead! Sheepy! Sheepy! A sheep's head, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, this is a red. Or what? This is something big. Oh, you got something? Yeah, this is something. Oh yeah, big. Oh my god, what a sheep head. No, what dude, a sheep head, bro. Oh. What a sheep head, D. Oh, yeah. D, what a sheep head, bro. Holy crap. Oh, oh there's one right after it. That's why it looked like that. It's a good size though. No, hell no, bro. That's him. <laughs> what is it? It looked like two sheep heads swimming with each Oh, there is two sheep heads. There's one right after it. What a big boy, man. Wow, wow, bro, what a catch, bro. Snapper? Yeah, I was, oh. gonna, I was gonna hit by snapper too. Right. You're eventually gonna get one of those sheep. Are you kidding me with that fish, bro? Broke my hook. Are you kidding me with that sheep, you bro? Lift that puppy up. Bro, I, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, get him good. Oh my god, bro. Look at the size of this thing. I don't even know how to hold it. D. Oh my god, bro. Right there. Look at that 20 inch. This is where I took one of the charters. Fifteen? Fifteen? Huh? Fifteen? Does it, is it reach or no? Mm -hmm. You want it or no? Yeah, it's fifteen, yeah. Alright guys, well it's four o'clock. And time just crept up on us. Um, we spent the whole day in search for some redfish, sheep heads, and snook. And what we did find was sheephead. And my brother, my, my older brother actually caught a little small redfish. Um, no snook today. Water's really cold. I'm guessing that's why. And um, besides that, it's been a good day.
great weather. You know, not much wind. Holy crap, that's a huge ladyfish. Not much wind. Um, most of the areas that we've been fishing, so it's been pretty good. But yeah, I'm here at one couple of couple of the last spots that I'm gonna stop at. See if I catch a, a sea trout or two, a little snook at this spot. And I got an, one last spot that I'm gonna stop at where I usually catch redfish. So. Thank you.